Hey guys, happy Valentine's Day. Um, I wanted to show you a video. It was taken a couple of days ago and I shouldn't have uploaded the one last night ahead of this one uh, because clearly Ferdinand has come to life and he's drinking from Belle. So this is what was going on for the first seven days. Uh, we were milking her. Um, that would have been Tuesday that was the last day that I, oh no, Wednesday I was the last day that I milked her. And then Thursday when I came out here, Ferdinand was actually drinking from the front two udders that I had been milking. And I was doing that because he wasn't touching them and I, did, I just wanted to make sure that we got milk out of them and, uh, and that there was no problems. So anyways, Ferdinand is now doing his job. Um, but here's a video of us milking Bell for the first seven days. So I hope you enjoy. Bell's bag is so swollen, or these front two are so swollen because the calf is only drinking out the back two. So if we don't try and get a few squirts of milk out of these front two because they're so big, you know, this, come here. This is the normal size of an udder. This is what in a dairy cow would be normal and this would be no problem for a calf to, to, to reach and uh, drink from. This is abnormal for any breed of cow. So anyways, right now what we're doing is washing the cow with warm water. It helps to relax and let the milk come down. Oh, Bell. We have a kicker on the cow. Um, it pinches these ligaments or these tendons so she can't she still can, but it, it hurts her a little bit to prevent her from kicking. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Hold on. I'm using this smaller cup so that if the cow does kick, um, once you get a little bit in it, you know, you can get rid of it. And if the cow would kick, you're not going to spill all over yourself or lose a whole bunch of milk. Oh, Bell. Oh, Bell. I don't want to milk out a whole bunch because the more milk you take, the more she'll make. Basically, it's if the calf were drinking, mom's going to reproduce the milk that she knows her calf needs. So if I would try and milk a whole pail out of her, she's going to then refill with that. And we definitely don't want to be milking this cow on a daily basis. And if all of her udders were the size of this back one, we wouldn't have to do any of this. The calf would be able to, you know, get a little bit of milk from each one. Oh, Bell. Oh, Bell. Bell's standing nice because we put this kicker on her. So anyways, this is, this is what we use to to, to milk her. And Belle is a beef breed, so her neck is actually larger than any dairy cow that we had in these stanchions, so all the chains that we have to tie up, they won't even fit around her neck. So we had to use a halter. And after a cow has a calf, a lot of times, um, because of all the calcium that she's lost, you give a calcium tube um, once, once she's in a stanchion or you put a halter on her, you can use a, it's almost like a, a caulking gun and you buy this calcium tube and you squirt it down the cow's throat. Um, I don't think this is as much calcium that would you could get in a tube, but the cow certainly likes it. It's like her reward um, for milking. And I've done this the last three or four or five nights and 
it seems like she, she licks up every bit of it. So um, the calf is getting enough. We tried to feed the calf a bottle the first night that I milked her and the calf was uninterested in the bottle. It had drank all it needed from Bell. Um, and that's the reason we have these issues is the calf is getting more than enough milk for itself from that one udder. So uh, the option to just let mother nature take its course uh, would end up with this cow being dead. Okay guys, that was the video for the day. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.